I think it was 23. That's the thing. He was a young kid, had a good college football career, came here. I was just having fun. It's getting better each day. He's just working hard in practice, hard worker. Everyone liked him, never caused a problem with no one. Just, you know, it's kind of the things people say about everyone. Like, he was a good kid and it shouldn't have happened to him. But in this case, it really shouldn't have. You know, he didn't do anything to no one. Everyone on the team loved the guy. Uh, we practiced last, it would be on Friday, last Friday. And the shooting was, yeah, right after our game on Saturday. So it was kind of tough because I just saw him recently and we were just having a good time recently, laughing together, joking around, and then you hear this and all of a sudden he's gone. After our game, I got home and I was pretty tired and just for some reason, I didn't end up going, you know, and something about it makes me feel like I should have been there. Maybe if I was there, I could have done something to stop this. But then at the same time, it's like I'm happy I wasn't there to just be in the whole altercation. So, you know, it's, it's tough, especially when you just, you don't really know what to do when you lose someone like that that was so close and part of your team and family, you know. Um, it was funny, we were actually always joking around with uh, the Birdman thing, like how Birdman was in the interview and uh, he's talking about how uh, he's going to pull up on someone he's not going to say it no more. We were always just joking around like that at practice. So you know with him, it was always just having a good time, joking around about stuff. He was always laughing and just wanting to have fun. So for something like this to happen to him was crazy. There's a lot of kids, obviously, that are going to watch this. This is what we're pushing them, spending more than $10,000 on distributing this. Mm -hmm. So if you were to say anything to the kids that are watching this, what would your message be to them? It would just be, you know, like, we got to stand up. We, as a people, every individual has to stand up and make a stand and fight against this, you know. Um, I'm tired of waking up and hearing someone close to me died or got hurt and loved ones, you know, it's every day this stuff is happening and it seems like it's happening more and more. So I feel like everyone just got to stand up and fight for what's right and just be good. There's no point of doing this every day, hurting people, going around and doing senseless crimes, you know? You could just go out, have a good time, and I just want everyone to just live life properly, you know? This is a big thing for Calgary. There's two there was two shootings now. Well, there's more, but 10 nightclub, there was a shoot. There was a shooting there where a guy blasted through the front window. Mm -hmm. They shut that club down. Marquee, everybody loves Marquee. It's, a, it's the spot in Calgary. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be terrible to shut the club down where that's where so many people have good times as opposed to these bad times. A lot of people are afraid, I mm -hmm. think, are going to be afraid to go to Marquee. What, what would you say to those people? That's the thing, man. It's a, it's a tough situation. Because um, I know myself, like, I'm thinking about now, if I go out, r right when you hear these things, it's scary. You know, like, uh, I don't want to go out and just something happen to me. Like, the thing that happened to Mylan, he wasn't even involved in the situation. He just happened to show up at the wrong place at the wrong time. So I'm just, that's why we just got to stop this. You know, people want to go out and have fun and, uh, just live life properly. They don't want to go out always having to watch out for something, think something's going to happen. And you know, and for the people that are doing it, like you're going to get caught doing it. And it's just, it's not getting you anywhere. And you're just ending someone's life. And in that sense, ending your own life too when you get caught. So I just urge everyone to just stop this and just live life the way you're supposed to. It's, it's tough right now. Um, Yesterday was the first day we kind of all got together. We were supposed to have um, some meetings, watch the game, and it was supposed to be a good time because we just pulled off a tough victory. And But um, everyone was struggling, the whole locker room. It was just everyone's down and just devastated from this, um, just because it's so unexpected and just the way that it happened. So um, I don't know, we're really trying to just fight and be strong and get over this because we got to continue our season and continue playing and do the things we're supposed to do but it's just so tough especially when you go to the locker room and you're there and you see Mylan's locker and all this stuff that was in it and it's just it's tough. 
we're gonna try to make a difference. I know I am. That's what I'm dedicating my stuff for. That's why ever since I got out, you yeah. know, I got the kids into the jail to film a lot of that stuff. I took them on a tour. There's gonna be a behind the scenes where actually all these kids like felt it. I'm yeah. like, yo, this is the hole. This is where you go. All they give you is a Bible. They take your mattress out from 9 a.m. to 9 at night. You know, mm -hmm. this is where you get disciplined. Yeah. And a kid, bro, had tears coming down his eyes. His grandma was like, I don't know if he can do the rest of the shoot. And he's like, no, I want to do it. And like, I'm talking kid. It mm -hmm. was the most inspiring thing. Just to know that that kid is never going to jail. Yeah. That kid's not going to jail. Yeah. I, th I think that's huge because when kids actually see that and see the consequences of these things and what could happen, that really will stop them, especially if you show them young, when they're young and, you know, they don't want to do that. Like you said, that kid's never going to no. jail, you know? He doesn't want nothing to do with that. And I feel like that's a good cause. Like, more kids need to see this and know what's going to happen instead of them thinking they can just do anything and get away free. And uh, that's why I feel a lot of kids, they hear certain things like songs and everything they take these the wrong way when they know some of these artists and stuff that's just music you know they're not actually doing these things and they see these actors doing certain things and that's just all that's for show and they just really got to understand that this is real life um things aren't the way you see them on tv or in music videos so uh just like you said like how you show these kids these things i think that's huge for them yeah, you seen the teaser. What do you think about it? Please? Yeah, it's just, it's deep, you know? Like, right when you see it, just from the intro right there, you just, like, you feel that. And uh, once you hear uh, just the actual, like, recordings of the things that happen, it's, it hits you, and you know, and you really start to think. Like, I know, I started getting teary-eyed when I saw it, just thinking about Mylan and, stuff that happened there so um, I think this video can make a big impact. Uh, I want to just say rest in peace Mylon Hicks, uh, you'll truly be missed, um, everyone, your family, football team, everything, uh, rest in peace. For all the kids out there, make sure you watch this Stop the Violence video, let's all make a difference.